Hello. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse. So, for today's day of Vlogmas, I thought I would make a video about all the Stephen King books I've read and my recommendations because I made a Stephen King book video a while ago, my top favorite Stephen King books, and I get asked all the time, where should I start? <laughs> so, I thought today I could do that. Sorry, there's so many books just. So obviously, I have not read every single Stephen King book. I think I've read about 14 or something. I don't know, you'll see here. And also, in case you didn't know, Stephen King is my favorite author. So first, I'm gonna talk about all the ones that I've read briefly and then I'll go into my favorites. <laughs> and this isn't in the order I read them because I don't remember. But I do remember the first one I read, so I'll show you that first. So the first Stephen King book I read actually was Under the Dome, which is like so random. This is, I feel like, one definitely people don't start off with, but in high school I had to choose from this list of books of books to read for like this book report or something, and this was on it, and I always wanted to read a Stephen King book, so then I just read it, and I absolutely loved it. I think this book is amazing. It's big but it's also very very good <laughs> one i read recently was the outsider by Stephen king this one came out like a couple years ago i think and i also really enjoyed this one obviously <laughs> um also i'm not gonna give synopsises of the book because then we'll just be here forever but so both of these are like later Stephen king works next i read cell um i actually didn't love this one I thought it was like just okay, definitely not one of my favorite ones. I have one tab, I wonder what it is. Sad. <laughs> I tabbed something sad. I really hate it just rereading that. <laughs> okay, this next one I read is a quick short one and it's Gwendy's Button Box by Stephen King and Richard Chismar. It was really really short but it was really good, I think it's just a short story or whatever. Okay next we have my favorite Stephen King book of all time. And that is it by Stephen King. This actually isn't the copy that I read. The copy I read broke. <laughs> and I'm slowly just rereading this over time. That's why you see a couple of tabs. But this one is so big. But it is so, so good. I even have a clown tattoo to commemorate it. <laughs> because I just love this book so much. Then I have a Stephen King classic that I read. Misery. So this is one of his older works. Um, this one is really good. There's a movie, but I haven't seen it. But I really, really loved this book. And it's quite small. <laughs> the next one I have is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Own King. This is also a later work. And I absolutely love this book so much. I don't think a lot of people really, really loved it. But I am obsessed with this one. It's probably one of my other favorite Stephen King books ever. I think about it all the time. I do not forget like one detail about this book i just think it's so good and amazing next we have stephen king's first book ever carrie um obviously i did really like this one not my favorite stephen king book ever but it's a classic story classic movie classic book <laughs> then my latest stephen king read dr sleep this is the sequel to the shining obviously i also read the shining <laughs> um also another classic, also very, very amazing. This is another one of my most recent reads by Stephen King. It's The Dark Half. I actually listened to this one on audiobook. It was really good, and I think it's a really interesting story because it had to do with Stephen King not run, not writing under Richard Bachman ever, anymore. Like, that's where the inspiration came from for this book. So, it was an interesting, good read. And then the last Stephen King book I've read is Gerald's Game by Stephen King. I didn't love, love, love this one. I thought it was just okay, but it was so good because I love Stephen King's writing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. My camera died, so I put on falsies and we're gonna continue with the video. <laughs> so I picked out a few books that I think would be good if you wanna start reading Stephen King. Obviously, you don't have to read these first if you wanna read a Stephen King book. I mean, it's totally up to you. <laughs> um, to me, I don't think it really matters where you start. <laughs> but these are just my recommendations and books that I think you would love. Also, I'm actually not going to recommend the first book I read, which was Under the Dome. Because although I really, really loved it and I think it shows a lot of amazing elements of Stephen King books, I think it's just like really intimidating to start with because it's so big so i don't want to recommend that 
we're just gonna start with my list I picked four books so yes <laughs> so one of the first ones I think you should read is definitely The Shining just because it's a classic story and I'm sure everyone has watched the movie I did watch the movie before reading the book so reading the book was an even better experience because you get to like pinpoint all the differences and all that kind of stuff it's just amazing and I think it's not that big easy to read not intimidating people who don't like love Stephen King even love this book so I definitely think this is a good place to start now this next one you're gonna be like why are you telling me this it by Stephen King now I know this is massive and very intimidating and maybe you shouldn't start with this if you don't want to read a big book because it is huge but it is my favorite Stephen King book of all time after reading this book I was like wow like I already loved Stephen King books before reading this but after reading this my thoughts were affirmed I love this story so 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 much and I mean now too I feel like everyone's seen it the newer movies anyways and they're very well loved well maybe not the second one I did not like the second movie but anyways this book is amazing I love it so much there's so many so many great things in this book it keeps you entice the whole time and it's just amazing so the next one i'm going to show you i think everyone would recommend this just because i don't know i feel like everyone would and that is carrie by stephen king the first book he has ever written now this is definitely not like my favorite stephen king book but it is very good it's very short not hard to read at all and you get a good taste for stephen king in this book so i definitely think they should read this maybe even the first one you read if you don't want to read something like huge this is a really small book it's very good it's amazing also we're probably all familiar with all these three stories because of the films they're just classics so that's why i think you should read them anyways moving on i have one more book i want to recommend and show you and that is sleeping beauties by stephen king and owen king now if you want more this felt more like of like a modern almost young adult kind of read to me although it's probably not young adult at ow at all but i absolutely love this book with my whole heart and i honestly think it, it's one of my favorite books of all time it's just so good and i definitely think you should read it and i think younger people would love and appreciate this book too even more okay so basically what this book is about is in the society every single woman if she falls asleep she gets like wrapped up in this cocoon thing and if you try to wake her up or remove the cocoon she becomes feral and tries to kill everyone so i think it's a very interesting book and i definitely think you should read it but yeah that was my little stephen king video thing obviously i'm not a stephen king expert i haven't read all his books i'm working on it but we're not there yet um i hope you find something to read from this and if you've read Stephen King let me know what your favorite Stephen King book is down below because I would love to know or just a book by Stephen King you think I should read next because I'm unsure of which one to pick up next but yes thank you so much for watching if you want go find my merch it'll be linked down below I have this new little tumbler coffee cup which is super cute definitely go buy it <laughs> um hope you all have a wonderful day remember to smile and I'll see you tomorrow for another day vlogmas. Bye!